Let me start with the R word. How are you preparing for a possible recession? We see the guidance out here. You know as well as I do, the conversation's kind of being pushed away from 2023, but 2024 for a possible recession, albeit maybe a bit of a mild one, that's not off the table. And if it could be a situation where consumers very easily recognize a tightening of economic conditions, and I'd have to imagine there is some place, some plan from where you sit in case that happens. How much of that potential plan yeah. for a possible recession are you able to share? Yeah. So for the long tails or the small businesses or people that are aspirational entrepreneurs that have an idea in the shower in the morning that want to you know, set something up and they want to do so at their mom's kitchen table or their, at their coffee shop, they tend to actually build businesses during recessions for a few reasons. One is they, if they lost their job, they want, to sub, they want to replace their income. If they have less hours, they want to supplement their income. Entrepreneurship tends to be a really, really good thing to do in these recessionary periods. That's the first thing. But when you look at the larger brands, Again, going back to the Black and Deckers of the world and the Mars of the world and the Staples of the world, these are brands that we've seen come to Shopify. They also look to replace very expensive, dilapidated uh, software with new modern software that's going to allow them to sell everywhere, anything, at any time. And, and again, they come to Shopify for that. So we have traditionally, I mean, we were around in 2008, we have traditionally done very well during uh, recessionary periods, again, because small businesses are created then and large companies look to move to really great mm. innovative software where the total cost of ownership is, is reasonable and, and that's Shopify.